Because look how close it's getting. Look. Hey guys, Amanda here. My twin sister Emily here. Today is quarantine day. Right. So if you guys, well, I know you guys have seen what's going on. You know on. what's going on this right now. This is not now. just a state issue or a nationwide issue. This is a worldwide thing that's going on. It's definitely sad. And before we even start, just want to say I hope you guys are all staying safe and everybody's okay out there. Yeah, totally agree with that. Um, basically, we are in Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is technically not on quarantine yet, but things are starting to shut down. So Emily and I have made the decision ourselves to shut down our charter business for two weeks because there's really no guarantee if we can get fuel, if we can get bait, if we can get ice. We've had a lot of cancellations. We've had, we've had people well, trying we've, to We've reschedule. been completely canceled out. Basically, our schedules just went from, we had this last week, we had five trips to two trips. To and then now trips. we have zero trips next week. So it's just, it is what it is and it's definitely sad. But because of that, we are going to quarantine ourselves. Yeah, we just kind of decided it probably is a good decision anyways. So we are packing our bags. We are going to head to the Keys on a remote little island in the boondocks called Big Pine Key. And very special place Very special for us. place. We have family there, so we have somewhere to stay. And the whole idea is we're going to go down. We're going to show you some of the quarantine lifestyle we're going to be doing. And it's going to be, we're going to make the best of a okay situation. <laughs> show up in the suggestions or in the description box. We went through a whole video. This room was a bomb and we put it together in a beautiful organized system. So let's get some rods. Okay. All right. What do we need? Um, we already have in the truck all of our trollers. We have our planer rods. So we really just need spinners. Um, spinners and we should probably grab our um, bottom rods. So I want to grab this rod right here. Try not to scratch the wall. This is one of our like mutton rods, bottom rods. It's a rain shadow rod. Rain shadow provides us with everything. Calmly built it with an accurate reel. Which reel is it? This is the Valiant 500. It's pulled with red braid because that's our color. So we have two of these. We're gonna bring these for sure. Next rod. What do you want to grab, Emily? Let's grab some of our spinners with 7500. Good idea. So our big spinners is what we really call them. This is our 7500 pen slammer set up for really anything. We can yellowtail with this. We can mahi fish with this. It's probably more of our mahi fishing rod. We have 5500s that we yellowtail with, but perfect setup. Definitely gonna bring this. All right. I think that's kind of everything from this room. Um, the rest of the rods are already in the truck. Like I said, we have five trollers and two planer rods, two bottom rods, some extra spinners, and gotta grab the tackle, but we're good to go. This video, this is the bridge next to me, that one. 
So the bridge next to me is the old one that basically is in ruins now. So it's actually considered a historical landmark, I believe. I'm on my way to the Keys to meet Emily, but the first step was to take our two cats, Rover and Reptile, drop them off at our parents' house. That's where they will be much happier. They do not travel well, so we just said, you know what, let's just send them to mom and dad. You guys doing okay? That's Reptile, the white one. That's Rover, the gray one. Come on, Rover. Looking out the window. They clearly don't travel well, so. Wish me luck, gotta get going on this. It's like a 45 minutes to my parents' house. Get them out of the car, get them home, get them happy. We made it to Big Pine. We're here. We're getting and fuel. We're getting fuel and hopefully we can continue to get fuel while we're here, but we're definitely gonna tap off because we're sword fishing tomorrow. The latest we heard is that on Friday afternoon, I believe, the Keys is gonna start being shut down. So what that means is nobody's allowed to come in unless you're a resident, you have a bill that proves that you live there, if you're a second homeowner or something like that, but no visitors can come in. And we're even worried about it because I don't have any proof that I live here, but we do. So we're um, just basically gonna stay, stay down and everything's really shutting down. So we're just hoping we can continue to keep fishing. Yeah guys, so basically, we have family down here. We personally don't own a house here, so yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we're okay. It's definitely pretty like crazy that they're shutting the keys down. They don't want anybody coming in and you can only basically leave and come back if you are a homeowner, right? Yeah, you have to be a homeowner basically and we don't really have that. I mean, we do have, we started our business down here so we're kind of going to try to look for a bill or something with our business address that we have for our business here, but I don't know we gotta go find one or something. Yeah. So we're gonna try and figure that out. So just in case. Yeah, just in case. But we're already here, so we're fine. Yes. Yeah, so we're here, guys, and it is just really crazy. The Keys is literally closing down. No restaurants are open. No restaurants are open. Key West is shut down. No hotels are open. And at this point, this is the only gas station in Big Pine open. Yeah. We've talked to some other charter friends. I guess down worst here. case scenario, we could go to a gas station and fill up gas tanks That's true. and bring them to the boat. That's true. So we're actually we'll be okay. okay. We've talked to other charter friends down here and all their charters got canceled. So because of that, we're definitely going to be doing some fishing with some of our friends here and make the most of a really, really, really sad situation. We are at our local no-name pub, the famous no-name pub. It's a good place if you could find it. Is that what the slogan that's, is? That, is that the slogan? The, the, you say, yeah, it's a slogan. slogan? That's uh, the no slogan. No-name pub. You found it, what you, it says up there. Yeah, no, you're know. right, you're right. So um, we're here, they are only offering takeout, nobody can go inside, and we just kind of wanted to show you what's what going, going on. on. The cool thing is though, right around No Name Pub, you can normally find the local key, key deer. deer. So we are gonna go hunt, well, that's, <laughs> we are gonna go search. They're, they're highly protected. Highly protected. They're, in, they're, they're an really endangered cute, species, key correct? deer, they're, in, they're yes. definitely an endangered species. There's like only, the population's like, in the hundreds, it's like the low hundreds, Very small. something like that. And of all the Florida Keys, they live in Big, Big Pine, Pine. Key. Like you'll never find them anywhere else, which is what makes Big Pine yeah. so special. So we're gonna go on a search to find some <laughs> cute key deer. We can't get, we can't touch them or anything and you can't feed them. It's super illegal to feed them, but they're kind of used to people. So it won't be hard to find them and get some shots. Ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, we haven't found any deer yet, but I have an alligator to show you. Let's see this gator. Here he is. Oh, he's moving. Hello, Mr. Gator. So, this is called the blue hole. Yes, I will turn this around so you can see. Yes. This is called the blue hole and it's actually an abandoned limestone quarry. So the water is, I don't know if it's 100% fresh water, but it's fresh enough for alligators to live here. It's a cool little place back in Big Pine Key. We're hoping to see yeah. some deer back here. So Big Pine, I have been told though, I don't know how true these facts are, that the deer can live on Big Pine because of this blue hole. And the blue hole is an abandoned limestone quarry. Did you just say that? Yes, I did say that. Oh, all right. <laughs> and that it is a freshwater hole, obviously because this is where rain, rainfall collects. Right, so the water level the, remains where it is because of rainfall. Right, and saltwater does get in, I've been told, but 
there's a freshwater alligator and alligators cannot live in salt water so it's obviously fresh enough for the alligators and i think it's pretty cool because yesterday we were fishing at island rada and we saw a crocodile there's a tarpon oh and there's tarpon here it's right there i don't know if you guys can see it i got him And there is the gator. I almost feel like we should name him. Yeah, we should name him. Do you guys have, if you guys have any ideas, post it in the comments. So, what if we name him Blue? Let's name him Blue. Blue. He lives at the blue yeah, we'll name him Blue. So that's right. Blue, the gator. And we Glad just. Glad you guys got to meet Blue. Got to meet Blue, and we just saw a tarpon. We're still looking for the deer, but lots of nature and big pine. Welcome to our little tropical paradise. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Deer. Mr. Deer. Every, we call everything Mr. I know. All right, let's name this thing something else. I'm Mr. Deer, but Junior. Come here. Oh, it's a girl. Um, Princess. Hi. Hi, dear. We want to show you to our subscribers. Will you say hello to our followers, please? Oh, just getting curious. Guys, these deer are super curious. This is actually the season that they um, start getting having babies. It's right around the corner. It's true, in the summertime. Yeah. See, they're clearly curious, but shy, but curious. Hi! Oh my goodness! Hi, buddy! They're such cool creatures. And also the key deer, guys, the key deer, they're like... That's a full-grown female oh, yeah. key deer. That's just so you know, size. they're tiny. The babies, the babies, when the babies are oh around. my gosh, when the babies um, come around, we have to do a, a video yes. just showing you the babies. They're I so mean, how cute. big are they? They're Show the them. size. They're like, yeah, you do it. The babies are literally this big, this high. It's like a, they have like white a, dots. They're little baby they, babies. They look like Bambi. So they're cute. so cute. This deer is just hanging out. out. She's just like, hi, who are you talking to? Say hello to our friends. She's just searching for some food. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed our quarantine on a tropical island video. It'll be us, the alligators, the crocodiles, the, the deer, deer, and some of our local charter captain's friends that are and also having a bunch of charters canceled. Yeah, so we're going so to be fishing, fishing a lot, every day, making a lot of videos for you guys. We're trying to stay busy during this time. Very grateful that we can actually get out on the water and stay yeah, busy. That good we weather right inside. now. So. The weather is beautiful. We hope that you guys get some enjoyment out of these videos during this time where you're stuck inside. Yes. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you follow on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Gale Force Twins. Say goodbye to the deer. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Look this way. Look this way. Say goodbye to everybody.